Uh, one other thing, Mrs. Halpern. Um, oh. There's one thing I almost forgot. Do you have another minute? Oh, uh, one other thing. Oh, Mr. Chase, uh, one thing about that accident. Just one more thing. Uh, one more thing, sir. There's just one other thing, sir. What's this? I'll explain it to you in a minute. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Royce from Pedal Metal and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to begin a project of converting this Peugeot 403 Cabriolet into Detective Columbo's car. So if you'd like to follow along, we'll get started. I don't think, uh, I don't think this is going to need a whole lot of work to convert it, but we'll find out. I'll have some pictures of the movie car, which I believe from my references, they had, uh, I would say Universal Studios probably had over, used at least six or seven different cars. Because every time I, when you think you found one picture and you look at it, you get looking at it, so definitely not the same car as the next photo. Why is that not coming apart? Uh, in 1990, I was at Universal Studios in Los, Los Angeles. I uh, graduated art school when I drove across America and I visited the studios. And at the time, I didn't really, honestly didn't, wasn't really into Columbo's show. I didn't know much about the show, unfortunately, because now I really regret that. But I saw one of the cars sitting out back in, um, along with all the battleships from, I think it was the Midway movie or uh, Tour, Tour, Tour or something like that. I don't know what movie it was, but they had all the huge wooden battleships. And uh, the, one of the Columbo cars was just sitting out there, rotting away. It was just kind of sad to see that. off this front pieces here what I like to do is I take a lot of times I'll have this little punch thing and I'll push moving get it pushed out through there I'm just using some Tamiya masking tape here to mask off the It's gonna rough this up a little bit with some sandpaper if I can find my sandpaper. Good. There's one headlight and it came out with the stem too. That's good. Let's see if we can get the other one without bitching anything up. Well, that one fell apart, but that's okay. I can get it, put it back together later on. What I like to do is 
my wife's a nurse, so I get these. She always has these leftover alcohol pads in her scrubs when she comes home. So what I I just like to use those to wipe the wipe the what object, whatever it is I'm painting. Usually it's something small. I just use these. Otherwise I'll get something else. But. These work pretty well. And I'll go shoot some gray paint on this. I'm going to use a Tamiya gray primer. We'll see how that works first. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back from shooting this. I just used a Tamiya surface primer. This stuff is great. This is really, really good stuff. And this is for plastic and metal, and it's the gray color. And um, this little can, I bought two off of eBay a while back, and they seem to last a long time. It's really, really high quality stuff. It flows really nice. It lays down great. Um, seems to self level for the most part. Um, Anyways, what I did is when we taped off, last time you saw, we taped off the, the windscreen here in the front. And I also shot the interior with that gray, which my daughter was already messing with it here and broke the broke the seat back here off. I guess it's just, well, she broke one of the tabs off. And when I was taking it apart here and bending back to, to spray this, the one door panel thing where they were connected that kind of just like fell apart but the interior is going to be like a buff color um pretty much what this is now on the here on the frame and what i did is for that part here i need to paint um what i did is i sprayed a little into the cap here and you could use so everyone at home can do this um trying to find my brush the one brush I, pretty much any primer would probably be fine. I have, I'll put a bunch of photos up on the screen of the Colombo car. And from what I'm looking at, there was at least three or four different ones. It was a darker gray. Um, that had black top. And then there was a lighter gray one with a white top. And then I'll, I'll put a picture up where he has the top down and it's a little bit darker. But when I'm done with this, after I'm using some weathering powders and stuff on it, I don't think you're really gonna you, you probably won't really notice that it's not you know super dark it'll still look like the famous car when I'm done with it hopefully so what I'm doing now is just taking stealing some paint from that cap and then I just want to do this frame that I didn't get before just carefully running along there with my brush and I really should have my glasses because once again I'm struggling to see what the heck I'm doing here. I just got a little bit on the sun visor there. That's okay, I can fix that then. The reason I'm doing it this way is just because it's easier than trying to pop that glass out. And I think it'll work out fine. You'll never know that I did this to it unless I told you. Let me just take this off of this helping hands thing. I might have to hit it one more time, but it seems to be for as thin as this primer is. This is a pretty thin primer. This is not exactly like a surface, what they call like a surface, surfacer primer. Um, well, I guess this does say, yeah, this is called surface primer. <laughs> what am I talking about? This is surf surface primer, but it's not as thick as what uh, a lot of the American primers that you picture from if you go to like pet boys and buy they're pretty thick some of them this is very thin so 
so that'll work out fine. The other thing is I noticed is I may not even be using this little tonneau cover thing here. I'm not sure if, what I'm going to do if I want to use that or not. We'll I'm just going to do my good old standby black AK Interactive wash for the for all the indentations on the wheels. Just want to hit this to kind of get a better reference photo up on the screen here. Just want to doll, doll the wheels up here so they don't look so shiny and brand new might get it off the tire there though too I just thin down thin that wash down quite a bit with some thinner here off camera just want to kind of dirty it up There's not many photos of this from the inside on Google when I looked. There is the one, I think the one where he's trying, he had to go back to traffic school. That looks pretty cool. Gives it some realism there. That one's kind of funny, but they show on uh, Google images, there's a, I think there's a picture from, from that episode of the, the interior. And one of the few options on these cars when they were new from what I was reading was a radio. It was a big deal to, to get a radio in, in one of them. And I think his car had the radio, at least one of the cars that they used. Like I said before, they used uh, at least three or four cars at the studios there. I don't know why you wouldn't, why they didn't just buy one. I guess they... Originally didn't think it maybe this show would last that long or something, but this is just uh, metallic silver from uh, testers. Nothing special about it. Most people can get a hold of this in their towns. I don't know if Walmart still sells paint or not. But I know a lot of Michaels, the one least here, they, they have uh, plenty of testers paints to choose from. I'm not sure if I trust my freehand skills enough to Enough or not to uh, to run along the bottom here. I, I probably could pull it off. But I think I'm gonna just tape it and it'll be easier. Rob from that. doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to get grungy here anyway shortly. And it does, this chrome strip from the photo I'm looking at, it does appear to go the whole way, the whole way back through to the back of the, past the, uh, right, right up to the radius of the wheel well, I should say. I think... Let's do the hood ornament here next. I shouldn't say hood ornament, but the hood.
Chrome Peas. Gotta love the mother-in-law. Can it be? Can she be much fucking louder? Okay, we're just gonna kind of dry brush along there, and I think it stops right before the round before it goes like over the crest there it stops and that's it good I don't know if it's polished aluminum or chrome I have no idea doesn't really matter at this point oh that looks good uh, not to toot my own horn, but that turned. I'm glad I didn't bother to try to freehand that because I might have been able to pull it off, but it's just faster, less nerve wracking, uh, especially if you're drinking iced tea or whatever. Get shaky. That looks pretty good. Probably hard to probably hard to tell on camera. The little hood spear there. Turned out pretty decent here. Here's so far with the interiors, uh, it's still kind of tacky. This is the color I chose because I looked at a lot of reference photos. And the interesting thing was, I had paint around here. Believe it or not, this is just Rust Oleum and it's putty. It's called Putty uh, 7772. Mainly, I just used a light tan. You might as well just say light tan. But I had that around the house. I could just use it quickly. Um, but I primed it first with. That Tamiya primer to cover the black plastic. And this is still a little tacky, but the, I'm pretty sure this Rust Olam, you can use it over. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe this it says metal and wood, but we'll see. Hopefully it dries. Oh well. We'll find out here if it's, hopefully it doesn't remain tacky. Maybe it'll be one of those deals where it lasts, lasts a while. The uh, handle here, if you can see that on camera, it's using the same chrome, and we got the uh, window winder crank. All right, I made some progress on this. I uh, still not sure what I want to do if I want to have this little tonneau cover thing on or not. Because the shots I've seen when for the show when he was driving around, they never had that on. It was just like all open like that. But it does look better with it with it on there. I wasn't sure what with the color carpet. I couldn't really find any good shots of the interior. I just did black and then a little bit of uh, of um, felt. I forget what I want to save for that. I can't believe I just forgot my train of thought there. The flocking stuff. So it's getting there. It's looking pretty cool. And I did the black on the door panel sides the best I could from uh, photos. Ones that he had the door open, you could see the top pad elbow pads there were black the rest the, the little there's like a little map pocket and stuff on the side down in there that was everything was just tan so what we're going to move on to next is i think i'm going to try to put the chrome all back on here and then we'll get to to weathering it and my gundam gray marker Maybe do it on an inconspicuous spot here first and see if this is going to work. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. This 
gray is pretty dark. It's definitely better than the pure black though. Little episode there in the corner. The grill actually doesn't look too bad. They have black, a black wash already in the grill. You guys gotta make sure you don't get it upside down. This hoop here goes to the top. So let's just put a little dab of glue on there. Make sure it's pushed in there well. There's little lights trying to get them off. The especially the turn signals I really screwed up. So I might not be able to fix those. We'll find out. So this one has the full tab, so that goes on this side here. They're not easy to pick up. Hard to tell if I have it upside down or what. There, I think it just felt like it wasn't sitting in there, right? We'll put the rest of the little parts on. So I'm thinking about just ditching that tonneau cover thing there, the top cover, and making something out of cloth to represent the uh, top shoved down in the back there because the photos I've seen that's all it was pretty much was was not a, like a, a nice cover per se it was just like you just saw the the top in the back there so I might see if I can well, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet I should probably Tuck that in up underneath there before I... Just adding another... Another layer here to this... Top. Trying to make it look like it's kind of like folded in there in layers. This is kind of... Not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but we'll see here. Just kind of tucking this fabric in underneath there. Probably should have made that a little bit shorter, that piece. Okay. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, now the fun part is going to be, I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. I'm going to go ahead and we'll start to uh, weather this. Now I have this black powder, weathering powder from Micromark I've had for quite a while. And this seems to work. Get this stuff out of the way. It seems to work fairly well. Some of the photos I have that I'll put in the beginning of the video. Sticks on this with this primer here, so you don't need a you don't need a whole lot.
No, but I don't know how you'd let your car get that dirty, but. Oops, there goes one of the wipers. Okay, I don't like how it was laying in that one part there. For a reason, it really stuck more in the front there. I don't like that. I'm going to have to see if I can fix that. In a lot of the photos, you'll see scratches on it. I'm just going to take this side of the sandpaper and kind of just do a couple side swipe scratches. Okay, I think we're wrapping it up here. Fairly happy with it. I'll have to see if I can find the other turn signal. I went flying somewhere in my office. Um, off camera, I did dent the front bumper to make it mimic the many of the st uh, still shots I've seen from the show. Has like a dent in the front bumper, and I also went over and uh, kind of made the chrome less noticeable for the bumpers. I did that off camera. So basically, I just went over with the silver paint on the bumpers, and it doesn't look as as obnoxious as it as it did I'm pretty happy with it and we have the uh, folded over top in the back there try to get this where it's on camera Did some scratches on the side and so hopefully you guys liked it and I want to get my printer up and going here again my printer's been I had a really good Epson photo printer and that's on the fritz or whatever and I'd like to print out little California license plates for it. Do that sometime when I can get my printer going again. So there's the Colombo uh, Peugeot 403. So hopefully you guys liked it. I'm going to take some pictures of it now that I can uh, hopefully put on uh, Instagram. 
So thanks for checking it out, and until next time, we'll see you guys later. All right, bye now. Uh, one more thing, sir.